What's up, my trackies? You know you've been selected. You hand few to the Traction Dog Collection. And we now are checking out the T Compressor. Yeah. Like I say, you just go onto the website, load up your compressor, and it works just like this. Just got to go try it. Press download, pull your song out, and you work right on the site. The full feature mono stereo side chain compressor is designed to be absolutely transparent even under the most demanding dynamic crushing scenarios. Clear obvious controls also the user allow the user to quickly dial in the desired result and the central display gives you visual speed back of all settings. The compressor can be switched to expander mode for further visualization along with side chain. I mean, I said visualization. Versatility along with side chain with dedicated filter and soft clip function. Effortlessly control your, dyna your dynamics. Alright. So, basically that's what they're telling you, right? And this is the compressor. So, first things we're going to talk. A lot of people, we're going we're gonna to talk to the beginners first. I don't need to talk to the people who know what to do with a compressor. So, that's who I'm going to talk to, right? We're going to talk to the people who need to know. So, this right here is your auto gain. You can cut this on and off. This right here will keep you at the relative gain you at. Unless, if you go completely out of control with your compressor, it's going to be down some. I mean, or if you go touch the output, it's not going to be working. So you have to leave your makeup gain the same, and you want to come in the compressor at zero dB. You want to come in the compressor at zero dB. So you want to be coming in from this way and the input at zero dB into the compressor if you want to use this function and make it work at the, to the best way that it can work. So this is your input knob. This is your look ahead. This basically it's gonna also it's like messing with the latency too. So just think that remember this at uh, latency, but it don't add that much. So this basically you looking ahead to what's happening and the compressor gonna uh, work work smoother when you put the look ahead on. And you got the function where you can switch from compressor to expander, side chain. Uh, monitor. It's gonna monitor the side chain. If I had a side chain selected, you got peak mode or RMS, max or so. Then you got the soft clip. You can cut this on. Then you got the threshold for your soft clip right here. This your filter, or if you selected a side chain. So if I had something coming through on my side chain, I cut my side chain on. You can pick the frequency, how much Q you want, do you want gain out of it. This track is so low, so you ain't gonna make it get nothing happen with this with my side chain right now, but it's still reacting to it. All right, so basically, that's all your functions. You got your color scheme change from light to dark. Remember, enter to change the presets. Press enter. This right here to go back and forth, A and B. Oh, yeah, now I'll tell you uh, a quick tip to start off with. 
this off the brake so you won't have to keep cutting the instead of cutting the plug in off or whatever uh and you want to remember the style point of the compressor too like so you're gonna have both of them you're gonna have the style point cutting this off you're gonna have the style point of the track by cutting this off period when it's not working right and then you're gonna have if you start off in B so when you pull the compressor out start off in B right so but you can see in my B I got it in expand them all right now because I'm gonna show you the difference of that too but what you would do you will start off in B and then A will already be set at the default uh, value on a compressor so you can just go and bait it AB right here your, uh, your value match so you can value match you can maybe value match faster like this so you'll do your makeup here but A will be already set at zero and everything will be default so this gonna be able to let you know where you started and where you ended up at and then you still gonna be able to go check back here but it's good that this had that the default right there too though so that's just a tip to just use all right now and when you make good presets save them so you'll go right here save as make sure you save your presets man save your presets it just might get you started somewhere later like i hardly ever i really keep a preset when i use it over all the way I'm, but it's going to put me at a good starting point so you can have that happen especially once you created the preset because it's how you handle your music so your presets are always good. You can pull your presets back out a lot of times. And this the difference, the compressor, if you don't know. So basically what I got going is I value match both of them. You can see the compressor is plus 10 dB up. Everything down here in the threshold, ratio, attack, hold, release, everything the same. Oh yeah, let me take this is a soft knee knob as you can see. This right here gonna move the shape of that so it's gonna smooth out. You can peak hard or you can round it out your knee. Alright, so basically, the difference of the uh, compressor and the expander is this, and a musical way of making music and you don't know what's going on. Like, I'm ready to just tell you the simplest thing so you can just understand. Alright, this, this is comp compressing upwards. See that? See, when I just switch to it, you see, at, at the same height, this is down. This is compressing down. This is compressing upwards. Expanding is it's compressing upward. But what you will also notice too with expanding, it's another thing happening that that's going on. Now that's why I put it at the volume match off the A and the B with all the same settings. So you're gonna be able to see what I'm saying. The compressor is compressing is evening out sounds from the lowest point to the highest point from the first point of the frequency to the highest point so the first frequency is catching it is the lowest frequency it's coming from left to right just think of it in that sense right so the expander is starting from the most peaking this point so the highs is of it's letting the lows like pass through and then it's starting at that point so I'm gonna show y'all another trick in the video to put two of these back to back one expanding and uh, one compressing right back to back and it's gonna be like you uh, side chaining it so I'm gonna show you a trick with that but so if I A and B it you gonna see the volume match is the same but pay attention to the highs 
on the expander, see this in the expander mode. Now pay attention to the highs on this one. You can, you can already feel the lows is more rich when you're on the compressor. Like I say, we had the same exact settings, same exact volume. So you can basically hear it's doing more work on the highs with the expander and the compressor is doing more work on the lows. So think of it in that sense when, you, when you're when using it. For a person that don't know what a compressor and a member is doing, but you want to make music today, you're just getting started. So when you want to use the one or the other, if you really just want to turn that sound up, use the expander. If you want to even the sound out, if you just want to turn the sound up, go with the expander. If you want to even the sound out and then turn up, go with the compressor. And like I say, you still gonna be, you can run the expander behind that and and get the same results. But I'm gonna show that in another video. Signing out, this the compressor. It's your boy Obey who say, "What's up, record layer production?" And I'm out.